Welcome back my beautiful people. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sunny and I am transgender, uh, FTM, female to male. I have been transitioning for the last five years. I started taking testosterone uh, in April will be five years. So I kind of just wanted to talk about like sensation when it comes to phalloplasty. Um, not every trans man gets phalloplasty. Not every transition is the same. So some surgeries are necessary for me to feel whole. And some surgeries are not necessary for other people to feel comfortable and secure in their body. For me, I got forearm radio phalloplasty, which is they take a piece of skin from your arm and make a phallus out of your skin. They take a um, tendon and an artery. There's phalloplasty or there's like medioplasty where um, they kind of just prop your bottom growth up a little bit and make you testicles with the skin that you already have down there. I believe that's what medioplasty is. A lot of people get phalloplasty and that's more of like a, for like penetration intercourse. That is the surgery that I've had. I think that the first thing that I felt sensation wise after I got phalloplasty was like kind of just the way that it hung from my body. It wasn't a sexual sensation or like a touch sensation. It was kind of just like pressure and weight. Like that was the first real kind of feeling sensation that I felt, which is pretty cool when like that's all that you want. That's like almost immediate because you have it and then you don't, you know what I mean? Sensation comes in many different ways when you get phalloplasty. Like it creeps in slowly over time. So when I was preparing to get phalloplasty, I knew that I wasn't gonna wake up and have full feeling and to the touch. I knew that it was gonna take some time because you're severing those nerve endings and you're putting them back together. So like, you gotta give it time to, to heal. And everybody's body's different. So I may have sensation whereas you took longer or took shorter to get sensation back. My phallus, when I got it, I would take a shower and I didn't feel like temperature. So I'd feel like the hot water hitting my legs, but not hitting my phallus. And over time, like I start to, I could feel breezes and like, if you touch it, I could feel it. I've been post-op phalloplasty for three years. Yeah, three, I think almost four years. I went through my transition really fast, so it took about a year for me to start getting some actual sensation, which I was prepared for. It felt numb before, like I couldn't feel to the touch, I could feel like if you touched it, I could feel it in a different place than where you're touching it. And I think that goes for like a lot of different scars and things like that, like it, you could feel pressure, you can feel some type of sensation but it's not going to be like i know exactly where you're touching sex and intimacy i think is a, a different topic i'll be open to talking about later like i can feel hot and cold now i can feel touch i do get pleasure a lot of people have questions about that because you don't want to go through a surgery and then like not have any of those things personally that is a big big part of my life, sex and intimacy. I remember when I, uh, when I woke up out of surgery, I like cried a little bit cause I was like, holy shit, like I have everything that I want now. It's a long journey. You're gonna wake up and there's gonna be things that like you hate and things that you love and things that are gonna get better over time and things that like, it takes a while. So when you're going through this process, I think that it's important to like remind yourself that it comes in stages, things come in waves, and it isn't gonna be 100% full on sensation, like you're ready to go uh, right out the gate. For the most part, I think that um, a lot of people get it and they're happy with it. 
but there are a lot of complications that you have to be prepared for and uh, I'll do another video on that because I think that that's really important to know and to just be aware of I love you guys. I hope you like this video. Do what the professionals tell you to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave me some stuff in the comments so I know what you're looking for. And uh, I don't know. I love you. I hope you have a good day. Bye.